back guys, just three little notes before the video starts. Most of our gear is from Orion telescopes, so you will see their name a lot. We are not sponsored in any way. A couple of clips in this video have been taken from a couple months ago because the audio was better. So don't be surprised if Antoine wears a different shirt. Because we didn't have a table on the field, we will spend a minute at the end of the video to show you our camera itself and our eyepieces. Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our mini-series here on Galactic Hunter. Um, Antoine? <laughs> so we're going to um, show you our gear in detail. Many of you asked um, what everything was and what it's for. So we're going to go through everything one by one and show you how it's done, uh, how everything works together as one to capture galaxies and stuff. And we'll provide links to how to purchase those items, the price and everything you need to know for that. Um, so we'll get the camera from there and go from bottom to top. Let's go. So here we're gonna start at the bottom, which is our base. We're gonna begin with this car charger here. It's a jump starter, but we use it to power our telescope while we're out here. It usually gives us about four hours of charge if it's fully, you know, charged up before we leave home. So it's a good amount of time for us to continue imaging throughout the night. And the next thing we we're gonna talk about is here, is the base of the mount. So this is like, a, it's a tripod basically. And we have this little, um, we have this thing here to hold it in place. We tighten it up here on the bottom, which also screws into the mount itself. So this keeps it very sturdy, won't knock down easy, especially today since it's a little windy. Good thing to do. So this mount here is the Orion Atlas EQG. Uh, I recommend this one because it's very, very sturdy for um, this kind of equipment. Um, this thing here, like she said, is to put it in place so it doesn't like just you know, shatter or something. And um, we can put all our eyepieces here. So there's like two big ones and five small eyepieces possible here. And it's very, very useful when you do visual. Here we have a port for the hand controller, which is located down here. We keep it in this place. And then we also have power for the jump starter itself. And then this port is the auto guider, which is on, available on our laptop. And we attach this to the laptop as well, just so it continues on through the night. And so of course- one more thing, this goes to the laptop, but first it has to go through this one here, which is the actual auto guider. Uh, this will track, uh, track one star, a specific star, throughout the night and it tells the man to go left, right or to correct, uh, to correct the tracking. So from there it goes to the tracker, which goes to the computer. And of course we have the on-off switch. And then the, the controller itself is pretty awesome. It goes uh, so to the mount and you can just select anything you want on this controller like anything you want, such as any galaxy, any nebula, any planet, any you know moon. And you just input it right here and it'll directly go to the coordinates. Yes, yeah, so there's like, I think thousands of different um, targets on this. The main eyepiece I use is gonna be this one, which came with the mount. And we can just connect it right away here. And you can just look through it and see almost the same size as what you would see with a camera. So I use that to start align my telescope. What else? Oh yeah, we have those two adapters which would be attached to the to camera. The, the camera. Um, this right here. It will go through the camera, uh, between the camera and the telescope. And that's for keeping the stars around the edges sharp. So, the big telescope here, I mean, big is actually a medium size. That's the eight inch telescope, which is uh, from Orion. It's F3.9, which means it's, it's a very, very fast telescope. I freaking love it. <laughs> I do not regret anything about the telescope. It's my first one and I love it so much. For me, it's perfect for imaging at least. It's not the best for visual, but it's still very, very good for visual. So if you're gonna buy your first telescope, this is the best I could recommend. We have these weights. They seem insignificant, but they're very important because they keep the balance of the telescope and the mount itself. 
Right now ours are kind of wonky and they're about seven pounds each. They're pretty heavy actually. And we just uh, keep them attached right here. They stay like this all night. We have this here, our laser collimator. And we can switch that on and off. I'll do that right now. And it always has to be in the middle and right now it is, it's fixed. We have to adjust it every single time we come out here just to make sure it's okay because the mirrors happen to move while we're driving. You can't see it very clearly there, but it also goes in there. We also have this fan ventilator here, which we don't need right now because it's not super, super hot. But if it's like super, super hot one day, you can just turn it on for like half an hour and it will cool the telescope to the temperature. Yep, and here's where the power source connects. I believe we brought that today, but the temperature is fairly good, so we don't have to worry about that as much as uh, in the past summer days that we've been here. So here we can attach two types of telescopes. This one right now is a guide scope, which is connected to the guide camera. So as I said, it's to track one star for the whole night. I can take this off if I want to and put this one instead, which is uh, the scoping scope, uh, spotting scope. So this is basically the same as this one, but tiny, okay? It's super tiny. The reason for that is very, very useful is because when you're looking for one target, you have to look through this first, okay? You have to look through this first, uh, so you can have a much wider field of view. So the last thing that we have purchased for our telescope, this is called a Batinov mask. We just place it over the telescope like that. And we'll play a short clip in just a second about how we do it. It basically helps us focus in seconds to get the best image possible. Okay, so we just put the Batinov mask here and I'm gonna show you how, um, how it works. To be as clear as possible, let's look at this GIF. The spikes are moving by playing with the focuser knob. Our goal is to have the straight vertical spike in the very middle of the two other spikes. Without a Batinov mask, achieving a perfect focus can sometimes be tricky. But with the mask, you don't need a master's degree to get the best focus possible in seconds. 25mm eyepiece. You have seen this one already. It is the eyepiece that comes with the telescope. 5 mm eyepiece, good for planetary. This is the one we used in episode 3 when looking at Saturn. 2 times Barlow. Awesome to have a zoom with 2 times for any of your eyepieces or even the camera. 7D Mark II. Most of our captures on our website were done with the Canon T3i. But we are now using the 7D Mark II. We love it except for the missing flip screen. Our dream is to be able to image with a CCD camera, but sadly, those are very expensive. Intervolometer. Never forget to bring an intervolometer with you. Because of that, we can launch a series of long exposure shots for several hours. So thank you for watching this small video. Um, if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask us about the gear and stuff. And also tell us what you want to see for the next mini video. Um, tell ya. And uh, don't forget to look out for episode 5. Coming soon. So yep. I'll see, see you later. Bye.